friends. Welcome to Vivid Buffalo Studios. I'm Angela Mikla. I'm an owner of Vivid Buffalo and we had a busy day. We started the day with our team on Hurdle Avenue painting in a new business there. Um, shared a couple of pictures and we also are still working towards the REACH Charter School completion. So um, started on Hurdle Avenue, ended the day over at REACH Charter School, and absolutely just have, you know, project out the ears, which is amazing. So excited. Um, as you can see, like, behind me, and like, Eternity Paddle in progress. <laughs> we do all kinds of projects. So like lots of different um, physical art pieces, but also like graphic design and web design. Uh, so we've got a lot of those things going on and thankfully we've expanded our team so, um, so we can take on that work. We are moving into the Niagara Climbing Center, which is a place that we've been. Um, we've recruited other artists there as well. We've used it for studio space. And now we're actually um, talking about starting classes there. So paint classes, yoga classes. So coming to the Niagara Climbing Center, which is in Wurlitzer Common, out in North Tonawanda. So, um, and that's an amazing facility. They have a rock climbing gym, Pilates studio, tattoo artist, art therapist. Uh, there's a variety, I think a hairdresser is going to be moving into the space. We have our studio space there, yoga studio space there. It's an amazing facility. So more to come on that. Um, Check out Vivid Buffalo Eventbrite for all of the events we have coming up. So this Thursday, we have a paint class at Buffalo Riverworks. It's a summer night, so there's, it's like a really pretty dark blue with yellows for the fireflies and some trees, like you're looking into the forest. Um, so come out and paint with us and get some really good food. Invite your friends and have a really good night out at Riverworks. Um, so that's this Thursday. You can check Vivid Buffalo Eventbrite. Also, we have yoga brunch on Saturday. So you can come out for that. Um, we'll be doing that every Saturday. And I'm looking at adding another class at Riverworks. So um, I'm probably going to put it out there for suggestion on like days and times and um, I know we've got a good group of yogis that enjoy coming to the classes, so I want to make sure there are, you know, other options available as well. Um, so keep your eye on Vivid Buffalo Eventbrite as we add those classes on. Um, and so much going on this week. We've also got our Earth Day retail launch, so um, we are super busy. There's a lot of projects, um, more work than, you know, I can even <laughs> um, imagine getting done. And we're so grateful because it's all amazing, fun work. And it's really putting me in a space of consistently doing a mindful practice, consistently being self-sufficient, consistently doing something that I love and developing on that. So that's really important. And that, you know, a friend of mine put it out there today and I've noticed some posts about being unsatisfied with a job and whether or not to stay or do something they're passionate about instead. And um, of course it depends on everybody's individual situation. For me, I have put off out of fear pursuing that passion. 
and it's something that I've talked about since I've graduated college and have finally acquired the business skills that I need to do it, but there's also a bit of, you know, I feel like if an event hadn't happened, I wouldn't have made the leap. Like I wouldn't have made, because it's a scary thing to change your life in that way. And I am just so grateful I did because then it doesn't matter if I'm working all day, every day. It's on all of the things that I want to develop in myself. So um, that being said, I, you know, so grateful for everybody's support and participating in the mindful practices along with us by coming to the classes and getting involved in the retail. And, um, you know, we're just so grateful for, like I said, grateful for all of the work, all of the projects. And talking to new business owners is just, you know, another um, thing that has been so much fun, you know, understanding how people have pulled through during the pandemic. Um, it's just been a really amazing time for Vivid Buffalo. So super grateful about all of those things. Check out Vivid Buffalo Eventbrite. Come paint with us on Thursday. Get some merch. We'll have our retail there on Thursday as well. So you can come out to Riverworks and buy Buffalo NY Spirit gear. Um, you can also check out buffalonyspirit.com and see what we've got. This week, I'll bring the pants. Like, I'll, I'll wear them. Like, these are just my paint stuff. Um, but I'll, I'll make sure to bring all of the pants so you can see... Um, the different colors, the different styles that we have now, get an understanding. So that way, when Thursday hits, you'll be able to check out the new line and grab up as much as you'd like. Um, and that, I believe, we'll be ordering some in so that we have um, the yoga pants and the retail available at our classes as well. <clears throat> so... All of that being said, guys, thank you again, and want to get into the reason why we're here, our mindful minutes. So before my yoga classes, before my art classes, I always take some time to read from Journey to the Heart by Melody Beebe to help set an intention for the class, but it's also just a good way to connect with yourself, listen, listen to your heart, listen to your breath. So take that moment where you are feeling your physical presence. You're noticing where you're grounding. Maybe it's through your feet, through your sit bones. On an inhale, draw your shoulders up towards your ears. On an exhale, drop them down your spine. Now from here, notice your breath and your heartbeat. Take time to release old emotions. Our emotions and experiences sometimes lead us out of the present moment. Something happens, someone says something, we hear something and a feeling crops up. Often underneath it is an old feeling, a feeling from the past, an old chunk of energy that's hidden in our soul and stored in our body. We aren't off track when that happens. We're right where we need to be, off center and out of the present moment. We can use moments like these to heal ourselves. Let yourself feel the feeling. Let yourself release the energy. Talk it out. Jog it out. Do what your heart leads you to do to release that bubble of emotion from your soul. Take as much time as you need. An hour 
a day, a month. When it's gone, you'll find a surprise. You've advanced on your path and you've learned something new. A new cycle has begun. An issue arose that provided an opportunity for healing and growth. And that healing and growth turned into a pleasant and welcome surprise. Yes, sometimes experiences lead us out of the present moment. But if we stay present for ourselves, we'll always come back. Changed. Lighter. Healed and more ready to love and how true that is 100%. With that, my friends, I'm going to go and paint my house and <laughs> get right back at it tomorrow. Um, feel free to reach out, Angela at Vivid Buffalo, if you are an artist looking for studio space, if you are a vendor looking for an event, if you are a creative with an idea, I'm open to it all. So talk to you soon and later from Vivid Buffalo.